What's going on guys? So today I am out here at the fifth wheel and I am going to install something that is really, really cool. Now I featured this actually on an RV review that I did a while back and I want you guys to kind of guess what you think this is because you're probably not gonna get it. I mean, I'm sure there's a very small percentage of people who might know what this is, but it's probably not what you think or not what you think is actually available for an RV unless you saw that video that I did. And it was only featured once on one RV that I did a walk around on. So I'll give you guys an opportunity to guess. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right. So before I am able to actually put that component on, I actually have to remove this easy hose carrier that I mounted up here. Now you may recall, I actually had two of these. I had one right here and I had one over here. And this one was removed and I'll show you where I put it. Right down here. So it's actually where it's supposed to go. I was able to kind of route it around some of the things that had been blocking it before, kind of preventing me from putting it where I wanted it. And one of those things was the actual hydraulic brake line that goes to the axles. So I didn't want to mess with anything if I didn't have to. And I was able to kind of move things around very carefully so I can actually put the hose carrier underneath where it's supposed to go. The second one, I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put it. And the reason for that is there are little tiny items that protrude down that can prevent me from putting it next to this one. So we'll have to figure that one out. But for the meantime, it's coming off. Okay, so I have the hose carrier tube removed. And now I just need to peel open this box. What do you think's inside? Again, I'll be kind of surprised if you're able to guess. Okay, so here it is. What do you think it is? This is that hidden tray system from Moride that you saw on an RV that I did a review on a while back. And this mounts in a very unique way. So coming back over here, it actually mounts underneath here and it pulls out and down right here. So the slide out tray itself stays up high and then as you pull it out, it comes down lower. So you can put things like tools, small parts, things like that. And it doesn't take up the majority of this space like a typical slide out tray was. Now the plan was to install another quickie tray like what's on the other side in this space, but I kind of X'd out that plan because I needed to be able to get access behind this panel if I ever need to work on the solar for any reason. And having that tray here might make it a little bit more difficult. Now, I might end up putting a tray in, but it'll be a much more kind of a narrower tray, so it might not even make sense. But having, you know, innovative storage is really important. And being able to put that tray up here should help me tremendously. Now, keep in mind, I have these valves right here that I do need to be careful of, all right? So I don't want anything that could possibly damage anything right here. So I do have to watch all my mounting locations to make sure that everything fits really well and I'm not possibly gonna damage something. So we're gonna test fit this to see how it actually fits into this space. Okay, so you know, some of these projects work out really well and some of them are kind of met with defeat and disaster. And that's kind of the case I have now with this specific product. The product itself doesn't have any problems. The problem I have is what's inside of my RV. So let's take a look at that. All right, so taking a look up right here, you can see this plumbing, which is gonna be my drain line for the washer and dryer or the washer. And these are the two water lines that also go to the washer. And because these are here, I don't have access to the aluminum joist that runs across the bottom right here. You might be able to see it up here. Yeah, right there. It blocks it. And this is where that tray actually sits. So it secures to this. I thought about securing it right here, but the flange that sticks out would make contact with this and I wouldn't be able to get it back there and secured the right way. And of course I do want to install everything the right way. The back piece would attach to this and this is free and clear. So I don't have any problems here. However, this is where I have an issue. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, why not put it on the other side? Let me show you why. So this assembly right here is significantly wider than the opening I have back here. 
and this is my spare hose, so don't worry, it's not the primary one. But the opening I have right here is much narrower, so I wouldn't be able to fit it here anyways. So I'm kind of exploring how I might be able to make this work. And one way that I could try, if I have more materials on me, is I could try to drop the connection point here down slightly, basically add material here, whether it be, you know, like a two by four or something to bring it down low enough that I can attach it. But still, this plumbing is likely gonna get in the way. And what I don't wanna do is do anything that could possibly danger this and cause this to leak or cause any issues. So that's my issue at this point. I love the product, I love the idea. The point of it for me was to have a place to put my tools. Basically, you know, something out of the way, I could keep my splices, my connectors, my crimping tools, you know, a small drill. Basically a place just to put the things that I use a lot in the RV and I want quick access to because sometimes you have some tools in there and you bury them underneath stuff and you gotta remove a bunch of stuff to get access to them. Now I know there's all sorts of creative ways to store tools and you know, a place you can put your power drill and hang it up and things like that. But I carry a lot of small pieces with me, a lot of connectors, a lot of crimps, a lot of splices, a lot of heat shrink, things like that. And it's always nice to have just a really convenient tool drawer to be able to access it all. So I really want this to work and I'm gonna to try to figure out how I can make it work considering some of the restraints and limitations that I have. But this is a super cool item from Moride. Um, it will probably work for a lot of other people's RVs. You just have to be careful again with understanding where you might have pipes and lines that could possibly get in the way. And from a pricing perspective, considering how it's designed and that the whole thing only weighs about 10, 15 pounds, it's very lightweight, um, it's about $195. And the folks over at eTrailer, who are my channel sponsor, they carry this item. It's very, very cool. I think, again, as long as you don't have the same restrictions I have in terms of your plumbing lines running through that space, I think it'd probably work fine for most people's applications. I certainly wish I could use it, and I'm gonna try to find out if there's some way I can make it work because, you know, in reality, it's such a cool concept. That's such a large tray. It's such a large opening. And, you know, it's about 16 inches deep and the space inside is about 26 inches and it's about three inches tall. So you have a lot of room. And let me show you one other thing real quick. So this is the back side where you see these stick up. These are adjustable. So you can actually slide these in or out to adjust to the different types of bracing you might have underneath your bath deck area. The problem is this side right here. And if you mount it further back inside of the basement storage, well, the tray isn't accessible at that point because it's simply going to pull out and not gain you any additional access. So the way it works is you pull this out. And when it's all the way out, this is kind of what it looks like. Very cool. So typically all this would be exposed and you'd have really, really convenient access to whatever you have in this tray. Again, you might have the perfect clearance in your specific RV. I would venture to say 80% of fifth wheels aren't going to have the same issue that I'm having. And, you know, a lot of them you might be able to even work around some of those issues. But in mine, I got that plumbing issue. And that plumbing issue right now seems to be a deal killer. Hopefully, I can figure out some alternative so I can get this thing mounted. Anyways, guys, if this is something you might be interested in, I will put a link to this item in the description of the video. Again, super cool product from Moride, very innovative. It just kind of continues to show how manufacturers like Moride and LCI continue to think outside of the box for solutions that are real for RVers, right? Storage solutions, things that take advantage of space that you might have. And this is just one of those. So super cool product, wish it would work. Right now, it can't. Hopefully we can fix it and get around it. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna throw everything back inside of the storage area without this. Have a great day.